I'm grinding. Money on my mind, and I'm heading to the top. Hey guys, Dylan here. That was just a little taste of the M Lyric video trailer. And if you haven't seen it already, the link will be in the description. The trailer was entirely created with the plugin M Lyric Video. Everything from the effects to the retro frame to the variety of lyrics that we included. When you purchase M Lyric Video and download it via M Installer, you can find the pack in your titles. We have three sections here backgrounds, overlay effects, and our lyric titles. The background section comes with 10 background options that are super easy to customize to fit your style. M Lyric Video has some more traditional backgrounds that you can put your music video lyrics onto, like background number one. And from here, you can head into the inspector window and make adjustments to the gradient size and color. You can adjust the position of the gradient circles easily on the viewport by using the on-screen controls. You can adjust the grain, and you can even turn off the background if you feel that it would look better. This pack also has backgrounds that are more integrated with the actual footage of your music video. So for example, I could just drag background nine over our footage here. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a so high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. And you'll notice that this preset takes the center of your footage and automatically animates it to stay within this moving square. No keyframes needed. If you don't like the black and white look, you can turn back on the saturation in the inspector window. You can change the color of all the different elements that pop up. You can change the background color and more. Use these backgrounds to help your lyrics and video footage stand out a lot more. The overlay effects section comes with 12 different drag and drop presets to help make your footage look more like a music video. We have an option to add a film burn, light leak type preset, which you can quickly change the hue of, brightness, and position on in the inspector window. If you want to quickly desaturate and change the color of your footage like I've done here, you can add the color filter preset. And this is nice because you can just scroll through the different hues to find the color that you like the most. And this preset also has some grain, which you can easily adjust. On most of these presets, I usually turn off the animation in and out so the effect stays up the whole shot. But as you can see, maybe having that fade in could be a cool idea for a specific part of your music video. On this specific clip, I've also added two more presets in the overlay effects section. We have dirt and scratches, which will make it look more vintage. And if we hop into the inspector window, you'll notice that it comes with five different presets, all of which you can change to be white instead of black if you think that fits your video better. And the other preset that I added to this clip and a lot of other clips was the handheld effect. This preset, along with the camera preset, can help to add more motion in your shots to help make them look more professional. So take this shot. It's handheld, but fairly static. Just by adding the handheld effect and sliding up the amount a bit, this animates our shot to be a lot more dynamic. It certainly makes a difference. In the overlay preset section, you can also add dreamy look, which will give you a promise type effect over your footage. If you don't have promise filters for your lenses, these usually cost more than $80, so this particular preset itself is so useful. You can also adjust the amount of the effect pretty easily based on your taste. You also might find that using the prism effect to add a bit of RGB outline will look really cool on your footage, like it does in this particular shot. Also in the trailer, I use the retro frame preset, which is so easy to adjust if you want a different aspect ratio. And this also comes with five different presets. And also on the whole timeline, I used Retro Look, which adds a smorgasbord of stuff. It adds Overdrive, which livens up your footage by adding a bit of shake and multiplying layers a little. A Prism Effect. Adjustable Film Grain. A bit of that Highlight Glow Mist effect that we talked about, as well as some Lens Dirt. All of these presets can be used to make your footage unique and stand out. Last but not least, we have the heart of this particular plugin, the Lyric Titles. M Lyric Video comes with 50 different options, and a lot of these presets have different variants, so you can use the same style title, but mix it up a little bit. 
What really makes MLyric Video fantastic is the ability to animate the speed at which your letters, words, or sentences are highlighted. I'll drag Subtitle 27 over my footage and type or paste what my lyrics are in the text box. Now if I play this out, you'll notice that it doesn't match the speed at which the lyrics are being said. This what I was made for. Man, I know this what I came for. It looks pretty bad. This is typically what you'd get with some type of lyrics title, but not with MLyric Video. I'll start at the beginning of our title and turn on manual animation. I'll hit the keyframe button so any changes that we make to this slider will be saved from here on out. My tip for you is to move the slider either right before or right when the first character of the lyric is being said. Here the song says, what I, really quickly, so I'll move the slider till those words are highlighted, and I'll continue the process. This is what I was, was made. When you get the hang of this, this process is really easy and helps make the lyric titles look great. This is what I was made for. This is what I was made for. But if you don't want to customize the animation, you still can just turn off manual animation and let the plugin highlight the lyrics gradually. You may find that a lot of songs don't need manual animation. Aside from highlighting word by word, you can also highlight sentences and even letters if you so choose. So I'll add the blur preset over this footage so we can see what we're doing with the lyrics easier and let's drag subtitle 26 over our shot for this example. Head into your inspector window, and if you select text animate, you have your options here. Let's change this to line. And after I put in my lyrics, you'll see when I play this out that automatic animation isn't hitting each line at the right time because of the different cadence. Land, whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership never asked the price out. Start at the beginning. I'll flip it to manual. Hit the keyframe button and slide the slider till the sentence lights up right at the moment that you hear the yeah. beginning of that sentence being spoken. When I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. De dealership never asked the price out. I hit the molly ball with my dog. And by the way, with all of these title presets, you can easily adjust the size and position by using the on-screen controls. You can also hop into the inspector window and adjust the font, the text color, and even add a drop shadow. Lastly, if you want your title to show letter by letter, switch your text animation to character or character without spaces. Turn on manual animation, Press the keyframe button at the beginning of the lyric, and once again, slide the slider when you hear the word. Text animating individual letters could be more beneficial on slower songs when each letter is slowly sung out. Obviously, hip hop is gonna be a bit different because I can just highlight the full word right when I hear it being spoken and the letters will flow smoothly. Big stage, couple thousand people, they do whatever I say so. And there you have it. Mlyric video is out now on motionvfx.com. So go check out the full pack and pick it up while it's hot. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment box below and we will see you in the next one.